Lord, I break my chains. Lord, I break my chains. I break my chains. In this service, I break my chains. As your word come forth, let my chains be broken. Let Kadosh Keta Kadabada. Amen. That prayer is answered in the name of Jesus. Can somebody say amen and hear himself? Where you will be is more important than where you are. So don't worry about where you will be. God will move you out. I don't hear amen. amen. But if God will move you out, you will be part of that movement. Amen. Let me say again. I say if God will move you out, you will be part of that movement. So, this service is so precious in my sight. I brought seed to honor the Lord one for what I'm about to preach two <laughs> mama's immortality and um, for the perfect healing of my sister and all who desire to be healed before I drop the money I would like us to lift our hands and pray for all the locusts that need divine intervention Anywhere they are, they need divine intervention. Maybe they've been sick for some time, but they need divine intervention. Can you pray for God to intervene? Intervene in their lives. Intervene. Can you pray those that need miracles? Father, I want to thank you for miracles. Somebody, I can't hear your prayer. For miracles. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus. For about three weeks now, I've been coming here every night. Every night to do night with you with some people. I was here this morning too with some few people. I will still come back this night by God's grace. Now what we have started praying is that the Lord will help covenant people of this altar who Satan is making making is pushing to contend with the altar instead of submitting to the altar. We came from such a background where people raise their voice against God. That is what we come to do sometimes. We say, Lord, have mercy on the people. Don't allow them to provoke the angel. Is it because we have such people? Because they, when they provoke the angel, the angel will not help them. And everyone needs to be helped by God through an altar. We're going to pray that prayer and said, Lord, take away religion. One day, when I, I called my sister, I said, the, what is going on with you? What is the source? She said she doesn't know. I said, you're supposed to know at your age. There's always a, a time for analytical thinking. Intelligent search. Deliberate looking, seeking at a particular age. There is an age you grow to. You eliminate accident and carelessness from your life. You separate emotions from ordinance so that you can live. And then you'll be able to study to know consequences of actions.
so that you don't subject your, lock, your life to lock. When you dream a dream in the night, you can trace it to a source. So I said, I said, but I said to her, but you're claiming that you're born again. She said, yes. I said, can't you see that your confession is far smaller than the source of the sickness? So the sickness is at win your religion. The sickness is at win your faith. So trace the source. She couldn't do it. I said, there are three spirits coming to you. And I know their source. She said, what spirit? I said, they have come after you for 15 years. And I have fought them for 15 years. Not quite long, she called me and said, I started seeing them. The other time, I was coming down and I went to see her. See her, she said, they were talking in my parlor. She, was, she started seeing people, spirits I saw 15 years ago. So I said, tell me what they said. She told me what they said. One of the day they came. I said, did you ask them about their origin? And did you ask them what they want? Then I said, they want to hurt you. They don't care about the church you go. Because they are ordinance. They don't care about reading Bible that is not part of your life. They are ordinary. We are going to pray and say, Lord, help those who can understand to start helping people who don't understand. There are, there are people that when they come into the church, they don't even know that this is church. They don't know the difference between church and their house. They come here, eat you in gum, talk anyhow, quarrel, misbehave, even in the praise, even in, in, in auditorium like this. How can God help such person? There are people that even if they are around, you can't talk. Human beings. Obasanjo went to the loo of, of worry, of the ordination, and knelt down. And they were asking him, why do you have to kneel down before a young person? He said, the boy is sitting on constituted authority, on institution. This place is an institution. My seat, that seat in my office is an institution. If I sit down there, be very careful. There, I'm not Chris Christian, I'm Shepherd. Sometimes they separate Chris Christian from Shepherd. One day, Dick Nogotuku Luka came to me. He told me, say, Shepherd, I want to see you after the service. So after the service, he was following me, following me to the door. He said, Shepard, what I want to say to you, I won't say it today. That's the way your face is. I will come back later. So I said, go. He knew that, I was not, that the way I was was not okay for that thing he wanted to tell me. That is intelligence. If somebody put his knife, hand on a sharp knife, blood will come out. What I'm about to say now, preach now, it can only be said in ancient authors where people live. There's a difference between walking up and down and living. The Pentecostals are not alive. That is why their ministers scatter. People give offering, you carry it to buy private jet, you do whatever you like with it. They didn't give the money to you.
It's not, it wasn't you they gave the money to. You called God and they followed God. And then, then you said it was you. No, it wasn't you. It was the name you mentioned. It was the person that you say you're serving. And then you forgot. That is why pastors are getting sick. They didn't come for you. They came for the name you're calling. Can we pray and say, Lord, even those who are stumbling, have mercy on them. Can I ask you to pray? Just one more minute. Even those that stumble around. Sotolo Mara Antus Peter. Zendu Maya Sharatus. Lando Baraya Staru Kalapatus. Zili Bruno Kapatalaba. Zendu Lobran and Shila Radaba. Excuse me. There are some things that, that happen to Lucas Amen. The altar have solved it. This altar have already solved it. If the altar solved it, why is it happening to some people? Why? Why? Why will somebody like what the altar has already provided? It's because they jammed the place. They stumble. You say, you say, let us pray. Somebody is, somebody is gisting. I said, excuse me, the service will not be long. If you want to gist, wait. We're not going to stay here all day. Now, no, don't do it inside this place. Can I say this? Anybody who died had an opportunity to live. Anybody who is poor had an opportunity to be rich. Anybody who is sick in the hospital doing mm, mm, contributed. Consciously or unconsciously. There is something I said yesterday. Please, let, I would like you to listen. I said, it is not possible for an angel of death to take a man's life without giving him warning continuously. Let me say it again. I said, it is not possible for an angel of death to take a man's life without giving him sign continuously. Even if the man is not a prophet, the angel will find a way he will understand to tell him that he is about to kill him and that he has option to change the angel, angel the angel of death will do it he said I'm about to kill you but I will not kill you if you close the door now this person will hear this and keep continuing with that and then the angel will be left with no option preacher native doctor anybody who have conscience You don't need to be a prophet. Because life is serious. You cannot be taken carelessly. Then somebody say you were driving, you were driving, you had an accident, and somebody died. No. No. There was a warning many times. You can even use your wife, your brother. If you cannot see, to be warning you. The other day, somebody called me from Canada and said, Daddy, I said yes. You see, the kid, I saw my husband, he was sharing his inheritance, writing will. And then she said, Daddy, I said yes. She said, You can't be there. You can't be there, and they want to take my husband. Then I said, I can't be there. Don't eat me. 
coming by, coming by six. They won't take him. Now you have told me. And then she said, I'm sending this, you, sending this money to you immediately as a seed of security. Now, it wasn't the man that told me. It was the wife. The other day, that my daughter that came from Uyo, she called me and said, Shepard, they want to take my husband and her, my, her sister told me and I know. What will I do? I said, start fasting. And it was waived. It was. Uh, until we were chanting this morning here, when that thing was happening to you, everything to take you to grave was concluded. Fear came on me. Something happened one day. I told her she should come to the altar every night. One day I came to the altar, she was not there. I went outside and called her. She said, Shema, she's feeling somehow. I said, I don't care how you're feeling. You're coming to the altar. And then she came. <laughs> she came here and lied down. I said, you can lie down. I started praying. Twelve, one, two. You know what happened? Dates. Father, let your people be healed. Jesus, marry now. Just maybe be serious. I don't, I don't intend preaching long. I don't intend doing long preaching. It's not, what, it's not what I want to do. But I want to preach ordinance. And I will be showing you scriptures quietly. So that you can see with your eyes what I'm saying. If you're coming, you can come. passages that have disappeared from the church particularly Pentecostal yet it has the life of God in every assembly these scriptures have disappeared from Pentecostal church that is why this morning I want to preach on monks and altars of monasteries monks and the altars of monasteries. I want to thank God for Catholic Church. I, I, I want to thank God for that pattern. 
I want to thank God for all the sacred vessels, all the sacred vessels of all the sacred vessels of diverse dominion who want to keep the old way. Those that want to keep the old way. I am part of the old way. First Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. Apostle Paul said, concerning the things whereof you, you wrote unto me, it is not good for a man. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. It's not popular. Yet it's in your Bible. But I didn't take it from Quran. He said, Concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man. Not to, not touch, to touch a woman. a woman. Now, number two. He said, never let's avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife. And let every, every woman, woman have, have her own husband. Excuse me. Apostle Paul has mellowed down. Apostle Paul has already mellowed down a standard. Just for the sake of fornication. He, he didn't even say marry to give back to children. It's not what the Bible says. Just marry to avoid fornication. Why the Bible gave that injunction is to save you. Because he knows what marriage will do to you. I say he knows what he knows what marriage will do to you. To you, man. He knows that marriage will destroy your divinity. He knows that marriage will open certain door into your life. So he said, it is good. Now, the Bible didn't give us detailed injunctions of how good it is. No, he didn't give us. But in 32, he went ahead to explain it of that same book of John, of first content. He went ahead. Excuse me. If you keep yourself, you will not be touched. Satan is not too big to touch you when you keep yourself. But if you keep yourself, not even if you don't keep yourself, not even prayer will save you. First Corinthians chapter that's seven thirty two. But I would have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried careth for the things that belong to the Lord. He said, he that is unmarried careth for things that belong to God. How he may please the Lord. How he may please the Lord. Go ahead. But he that is married careth for the things that are of the world. Yes. How he may please his wife. Now, are they, are they, the, two, are they, are they the same kind of persons? Now, the Bible said, if that man is not married, he cares about the things of God. Now, then he came back and said, if he marries, his care will change. <laughs> In case 
case you don't know, if you're hearing me, you're a married man, you're serving God with a leftover personality. It's just something that is left over you're trying to serve God with. You've already taken your life. Excuse me, you've taken your life already. You've already shared your life with your wife and your children. The one you're trying to give to God is a manageable little leftover. If you have wife and children, if you give money to God, you're giving God a leftover part of your money. Because you've already invested your money on things that bothers you. Maybe somebody can, I don't know why somebody can't get what I'm saying. Huh? Huh? So if there is school fees and tight, pressure of school fees and tight, do you remember tight? If God have a project and your children will go back to school, do you keep them in the house and do God's project? That means that group, that group need help from the first group. Excuse me. There is no married man that will be immortal except an unmarried man help him to give him covering. <sighs> On Tuesday, I, I left this church after seven. And I came back 11. So when we came back to the altar, I was asking those who came with me. I said, if I left the church by 7, got to home around 8, is it right for me to come back to this church by 11? To continue the service of one group of people. When we came in the night, we stood in front of that children's building there. I was giving them testimony of what I went through in five years to make sure that this land is secured by God to God. I told them, I said, mouth is too small to speak it. Then I told them, I said, why they should go is that we're talking about it is wasting time. And we left. So I said, if we left Sioux Lere Church and it is three-story building and we came here since five years to start another battle of buying here, those we left Sioux Lere Church with, what have they achieved in five years? No, their major job there is to feed their children. With the foundation, a eunuch led. And God is not watching it. So a, a monk is somebody who has an oath of poverty. He has an oath of chastity. If you want to be part of the foundation of something, Find out the oath that laid the foundation of that place. Find out the sacrifice. Find out the sacrifice that laid the foundation of something you belong to. Let me say it again. If you, you, you are a child of God and you go to church, find out the foundation that brought the church. It is necessary. There is something it was, that was said in the Old Testament about care in 56 of the book of Isaiah the book of Isaiah chapter 56 what I'm preaching is not popular so I won't do long preaching 
But those of us, I have gone to meetings where they pray against Catholic and say a number of things. I know that Catholic will last longer than their game. Uh, do you know what it means for group of men? We have monks, we have Reverend Father, we have Holy Ghost Father, we have cardinals, we have bishops. These are men and women that have consumed themselves in the service of the Lord. Somebody grew from age one, got 70 years, no wife, no children, and you said you prayed. You that is a boy, 25 years, you already, you already married, 30. And then a man is still 70. Do you know what he feels? Do you know what it means for a man to destroy his generation? When my father was telling me that I should get married, it's not because he wanted a wife for me. No. He wanted his name to be kept into the generations. Not, not an issue of women. He wants children. He wants to see a grandchild that can continue to answer his name. I look at him and I destroyed that move. He keep on crying and I didn't listen. It's not because I wanted him to cry. The thought is not that. It's not because I didn't love him. It's it because there is something that is stronger than that years. 56 of the book of Isaiah, 4 to 5. And after I have destroyed my generation, somebody look at me and say, I'm helping you. You want to use leftover things you have to help a monk. The honor of monks is with their body, is with them. It is in there, it is enough. I said it is, it is enough that I'm not married. I said it is what? It is already enough. It is enough power. Enough. It is enough that I vowed not to have anything. When I was talking to them there, I told them, I said, did, you, did they know what it means? I said, a lot of pastors misunderstand the anointing. Because they think anointing is only when you lay hand on the sick and somebody starts working. That's when you're anointed. <laughs> I said, what about having knowledge? The Bible talks about seven spirits in five of Revelation and 11, 1 to 3 of Isaiah. I said, seven spirits does not, does it not include knowledge, wisdom. Counsel, understanding, might. It's not including that. The seven, anointing does not include discipline. I told you when we were about to come, when it was 11, to about quarter to 11, I started the car. I didn't feel like coming out, but I came out. That is discipline. There are many nights I don't feel like coming out, but I have to come out. And on Friday, I said something. I said, it will no longer be possible for me to sleep in the night all the days of my life. That's anointing. That is not anointing. I said it on Friday here. I said, it will, it will no longer be possible on earth. As long as I'm here, I will no longer sleep in the night. It is, it is late. That means I will never be in my house any night. The 10 years program, the many five years, but I know I will never be sleep on a bed anymore in the night all the days of my life i told them since i came here i've never gone to any restaurant to eat i will never go again i've never entered as close as that supermarket there is i've never entered there since five years and i will never i will never go to where they sell you oh okay that is not anointing What is anointed is doing magic. How can you destroy something that didn't destroy itself? It's not possible.
possible. Isaiah chapter 56, 4 and 5. Two scriptures. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuch that keeps my Sabbath. He says, Thus saith the Lord unto the eunuch that keeps my Sabbath. And choose, and choose things, things that, that please me. That is my interest. That means there are people that choose things that please the Lord. He said they keep holy days and choose things that please me. He said, and they take hold of my covenant, number five. Even unto Even them, unto I, them give, I will give my house and within my walls a and place. I, and within my walls a place that they name better than sons of sons and daughters and of daughters. And, and I, I will give, give them, them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. That means to every sacrifice that is gained. If I start getting sick, I will not look for help from a doctor. I will believe that God wants me to come home. That's what I will believe. But I will never be sick. If I don't do what will keep sickness in me, then sickness will not come to me. It's a law. Can I go on? Huh? He said that those eunuchs, can you get 56 for just for emphasis? He said, Thus said the Lord unto the eunuch that keep my Sabbath and choose things that please me. Some dead people were in my office in the morning, and I know what they told me. Now, when you mention the trans, the the communication between the land of the living and the dead, quickly the Pentecost are getting irritated. You see, the the burden of their worldliness, we never give them access to the realm of the unknown. Let me say it again. I said the burden of of their worldliness. the burden of fleshly living the burden of their so-called prosperity i want to ask somebody when a shepherd leaves lead sheep to green pasture to eat grass does shepherds eat grass you tell god to give people private jets but you want to write it Sometimes some people say, Shepard, you need to do administration. I say, you don't know administration. Administration is a pattern of living. It's not carrying fires. I say, administration is a pattern of, why will I teach you when I am doing what I am as your sin? Maybe I should help somebody who always talk about administration. A local Sami pastor that knows my life or he's watching me online, you hearing what I'm saying and you want me to administer you. You are not from God. Because before I teach, I've already lived it. Sometimes I come to this place, I pray in three spots. I pray at the altar. I pray with group outside and then I pray in my office. That's how I pray in the night. I pray in three spots. I join those who are praying outside to pray. I join those, I, then I go to the altar to join them who are here. Then I go to pray on my seat. And then someone said, he didn't see it. You are a pastor, you didn't see it. You want to be under me. And then you're following me from the back. The standard is raised. And you're seeing it. If you don't, if you don't get up quickly and come from that back to this standard you are seeing, the standard will spew you out and keep on moving. 
A man that is making way, you don't encourage him from the back. My brothers knew and all my cousins, they know that I'm not there to give them money to do business. They already know. Because it will never happen. I am not for them. I am for Jesus. I am for the church. They have lost me. When I became a preacher, my mother was trying to complain, complain. I said, I said, you have us five. I said, is it too much? Is it too much to give one, only me? I said, give only me to God and take the remaining four. For yourself. Is it too much? I don't want to jump that and I said I want to see us of apostles just one verse and I would I will I will go on I don't intend preaching long but I want to show you something about preservation when we look at us of apostles chapter 1 verse 1 this is not popular Pentecostal and this meeting is not Pentecostal I'm not a Pentecostal pastor I will never be I don't want to be part of a game I don't want to quarrel on Facebook or YouTube and uh, quarrel and, and quarrel and what did they is uh, in social media. Ah, excuse me, things the things that look like a man that is dead does he quarrel? As of Apostle chapter one. Verse 1, I want to get one verse. The former treatise have I made. He said, the former treatise have I made, O Theophilus. Of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. So, all that Jesus began to do. So, the art of Jesus, number one, was a doing art. Not a teaching art. So, administration do, is busy with doing. Is, is busy with doing. He's busy with doing. Then if he has time, he will teach. Am I saying something? In the book of Revelation, chapter 8, 3, 4, 5, Revelation. Excuse me. Can you look up before we look at Revelation? Let me ask you to listen. If you are hearing me, I came for you. If you are here and maybe few people, you have a high quality life. High quality life. Don't compromise it. I am here for you. Let me say it again. If you have a high quality life, don't compromise it because of others. It is it because God relates with every life according to the value of that life? Let me say it again. God relates with every life according to the value of the life. Excuse me. We are building we are building children hall. I started giving money for that house since Monday. Now I'm building children's hall for, for, for men and women that their children will go there to go and do learning. And I don't have a child. And you feel comfortable that after paying for the land, you don't know how it was paid for. We are now, I'm now again building that place. You feel comfortable about it. If you are hearing me and you are a unique woman and you are a unique man, don't forget that everybody will reap the reward of his labor. If there is anything I know very well, is that people should reap what they sow. So be very careful. There are people that said, we have preserved ourselves. Oh God, help us. They called the name of God only in emergency. When they were unhealthy, when they were healthy, they hated God so much. They hated God so much. The time they give appointment to anybody is Sunday morning because they are without conscience. 
And then suddenly midnight came. They started calling God. Ah, because the midnight of all haters of God will come. Let me say it again. I said the midnight of all haters of God will come. If this place is at pastor or anybody. All that call upon the name of the Lord only when they have problem. Their midnight will come. Uh, somebody don't want to serve the Lord. He hated the Lord so much. Only to call his name when there's a problem. For what? The church started backsliding from Anglican. Women started promoting marriage. And then certain revelations ended with Catholic. That is why we talk about do mass. On Tuesday night, we're going to do bon candle. Remember the date. Such activities ended. The issue of issue of purgatory. That is five minutes to heaven. I'm going to make a book on it. Five minutes? Yes. That is trackable distance. Or heaven next neighbor. Next door. Just that is that is Bugatti. Now, 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 I will tell you about that quarantine system. What, what do I call it? Somebody who has not been in heaven before, how will you know quarantine? The quarantine is a Bugatti. That is where God put you in quarantine, put you under pen, and then to finish the work, he couldn't finish on you on earth. Now, now, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, how do you say to a Pentecostal? Huh? Has he gone through what is called spiritual purification process that can make his eyes to see? Now, if you watch the way I'm preaching, you should know that I didn't come to this altar carelessly. A lot of pastors come to altar carelessly. They come here to come and entertain people, say all manner of things, and then and then tell them to be drunk. My people start dancing, and then he collect offering and tithe, and then he open the boot of his car and then load the money inside the book of his car, and then they will go. Home. They will go home and be counting it. Now, if a young man see him counting it, he will, he will break the church. The young man that was helping him to count it in the house there. A man that a man a man that carried this offering box to his house and count this money will not live long. A house where this offering offering is counted will not remain. Because the people that gave that offering didn't give it to you. And the king they gave it to, and you took it to your house, will not forgive it. It doesn't matter the magic. Excuse me, you can come to church and do a bracadabra because you see, people, some people don't know they are, they are left on their right. Chapter 8, 3 and 4. I just want to get 3. 3, one verse. He said, and another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, which was given unto him with much incense, and he should offer it with the prayer of all saints upon the old golden altar, which was before the throne. Now, why I brought that is the ability of that throne to be preserved from the place of pain. Wherever there is glory, there is pain first. If you remove pain from glory, then the glory is fake. And it will, not, it will not stay for a long time. Let me say it again. I said, if you remove if you remove pain from glory, then that glory will not last. If there will be glory before pain, why did the king, why did the king accept to die? Why I mentioned monks and the altars of monastery? What is keeping Nigeria? 
together. It is not, it is not politics. As long as some of us are here, there are things Satan will not be able to achieve. Let me say it again. There, as long as some of us are still in Nigeria, there are things Satan will not be able to achieve in this country. He will not be able to achieve it. If he will achieve it, then he will have to go out first. Excuse me, a politician is no more powerful than a holy man. Let me say it again. I said a politician. Politician is no more powerful than a holy man. AK-47 is no more powerful than the prayer of saints. Saints can pray any man to death. Let me say it again. I say AK-47 is not stronger than prayer of holy people. I'm the one telling you. Open your ears. Uh, the eight live from the realm. I said the, the power that controls the eight is a spiritual power, not money power. Those who stand before the Lord can command anything, including money. Let me say it again. I said those that stand before the Lord, a man that has ability to keep other people alive can command anything. Excuse me. Adam couldn't die in Eden until he went out. Because, please pay attention to me. As long as Adam was before the Lord, four rivers served him. As long as Adam was before the Lord. How Satan is not afraid. How does he make a man like me need what I need? Need what I lack what I need. Where did he get the power? I told him on Friday. I said, You need to be bigger than who you are. Satan needs to be bigger than who he is to stop me. He needs to be bigger than ordinary Satan. It, it, why the Bible says we shall not all sleep, but we shall change. That corruptible shall put on incorruptible. If you didn't get yourself corrupt, you can't die. Do you look at that scripture? Hebrew 12, 2. Nobody talks about it. People believe that things happen on their own. Hebrew 12, 2. Somebody help me look at the book of Hebrew chapter 12, 2. I'm going to run away from it. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author of Israel of faith, who for the joy, the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The Bible says something was said before him so he endured the life of a monk is not is not an enjoyable life but it is a life that has preservative fragrance those of us that doesn't know if there is war anywhere seriously and some soldiers are trapped Huh? What they do is that they go to look for nuns, women that don't lie down with men from monasteries. They go to look for women that bullet doesn't touch. They go to Catholics to the place of very high consecration and get those women and give them food for trapped soldiers inside in dens. And those women who put on their veil and because they know the bullet. Don't touch them. You don't know the difference between a lady that bullet doesn't touch and a street a lot. Those that go to look for them, why do they look for them? If they don't believe in them. You don't know what it means for a lady to keep on majorating until she's over. As she drives, she's happy. 
She keep on burning and born and born. Keep on calling Jesus from age one until she's 80. Day and night. Before the Lord. Excuse me, if God takes her, who will remain? There are people that preserve the legacy of God on earth. So God used them as salt of the world. Matthew chapter 8. Pastor came and said, you know, praise God. The Lord has given us private jet. He has given us this. Hallelujah. And some fickle hearts. Some fickle hearts in their sister saying amen. We will be here and to see how those things will end. Matthew chapter 8, verse number 20. And Jesus said unto him, the foxes have holes and the bags of the earth have necks. But the son of man had not where, nowhere to sleep. Now, excuse me. If it was in our time that Jesus had an anointing to multiply fishes and bread, and the Bible said they wanted to make him a king. They wanted, eh? and he disappeared. Maybe I should make you see that the Jews wanted to make him a king just in one verse. It's necessary. In John chapter 6. John chapter 6 Is it John or 5? John 6 yes Verse number 15 That is I don't want to read the whole that because of uh, Because of time And when Jesus therefore perceived that they Would come and take him by, by force, force To make him a king Thank you don't worry. <laughs> he didn't campaign. And then somebody, a, a pastor said that God asked him to leave his church and become a politician. So, and then he will be campaigning. The king is following. Had opportunity to be even. The Bible said, look at that scripture. The Bible said they want to force him. That means, and, the, and his disciple is campaigning. <laughs> they, they, I said they'll take him and do by what? And then his disciple is campaigning. And they, they, he will even campaign and fail and lie. Because he said God asked him. So if God asked him to become president, why, why didn't he? Why, why, did he not, why did he not succeed? He has lied. And then after lying, he will come to church and still be preaching. And then, and then nonsensical people keep on hearing lies. You that want to lay foundation, is, is your life not more important than what you want to get? You know, the Bible said, forces have all. Base of the earth has nest. That is a eunuch. That is a monk. That is utter poverty. That is the foundation of the church. That is a what? That is the foundation of the church. The church will never have another foundation. This is the life of the person who laid the foundation of the church in Luke chapter 80 Luke chapter 1 verse 80 I am talking about you about monks because the monks must return the spirit of give God everything must return it must return before Jesus will come back the spirit of dedication Of sacrifice, of chastity, of purity, of people that when they come into holy place, they fear. When I came 
me here because somebody have given me money on 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 Tuesday of Tuesday to bring caterpillar to do this work here, and I told him to go and look for caterpillar people. And he keep on telling me they will come now, they come tomorrow. When I came here in the night and I didn't see caterpillar, I called him. I said, I pastor local army on integrity, and I have given you money for caterpillar people. And the person that gave me the money is watching me. He said, Don't get me angry. I, I wouldn't want someone to give me money for caterpillar, and caterpillar will not be here working. You see, because the person is watching me, and there is a way I don't want to pastor. My honor and integrity is the only thing I have. And if I compromise it, I can't preach. Nothing is important to me outside God. It's late to change. So if a man give money for caterpillar, the caterpillar should be seen walking. Before he thinks I take that took the money. That's the way I pastor. Excuse me. Locots army. I will always build, I will always do a project. You don't know how I got the money. It's a vow. When one of four was built in Galilee, that you didn't know how it was done. Because you didn't contribute much. The two times I paid for this land, I didn't, I didn't call you to give more. How much? How much did you give? Now, that is how to pastor a church and make people to follow. That even if they don't follow, their conscience will be hurting them in their private thoughts. Excuse me. The standard is more important to me. I will never have private jet because I know I will finish my ministry in the wilderness. I already know. A time will come when I will no longer come to township. I know. Those who don't want to hear me will come there. If they don't want to hear me, I won't worry about them. into countryside but monks are here now I am making an announcement for the spirit of chastity to return to the church that's what I came for the spirit of real power the connection between heaven and earth the connection between the land of the dead and the living the connection between God and man the highway should be there for those who have this life to come out and live it for those that have there are those that, whether they are, they are in the hall here or they are watching me online, they should come out openly for this life. For this one life. Luke 1 80. And the child grew and, and the child was grew and was strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his shoeing unto Israel. The, that, that was a man. John the Baptist. John the Baptist remained in the wilderness. Was John not a man? The God that made John to stay in the wilderness is has, is it different from the one we are following? Huh? Is it different? Somebody said, "Hey, Sheba, you need to be careful. People are watching you." I say, "Vanity upon vanity." Watching me, what does it add to me? I should lie because somebody is watching me. For what? Years back in 1987, Fadang Bangose was from my place. I, I used to meet him in Agbata meeting in Unijos. He called me and said, Shepherd, he said, Chris, I said, yes. He said, I'm going to go to Rome. And uh, you might not see me again. So I said, what happened? He said, I have not told you. He said, I am a Holy Ghost Father. That if you're a Holy Ghost Father, they knew where you would die. That is where they will bury you. He said, I'm on my way to Rome and I don't know whether I will come back. We cried for a little while. Little while I hugged him and then he left. Since he's 17 now, I've not seen bangs. I 
And how will I forget it? How will I forget that kind of service? How will I forget a man that served God that way? How, excuse me, how will I, how will I know the difference between him and, and another Pentecostal pastor who is trying to make gain from church? How will I not know? How will I not know the difference between that date, that total sold out? That immense love for the king. Somebody who is like men of the old. Excuse me, I preach immortality. I know what he meant. Run. Run. If a young man grow up and love money, then he will not stay long on it. The love of money is the root of all evil. I don't care the level of comfort you want. Don't you know that angels can attend to you? How many times has sickness come upon my body and disappear? When coronavirus come, some of us inherited it. It came on us. You lost smell. You lost sign of test. Yet it went out. Attention was given to you and it left you. Coronavirus came to Africa and it was stopped in the realm of the spirit. There was a force. There are force, there are, there are the, the anointing of God is stronger than ordinary frailty, ordinary sickness. The body can adjust to anything. We can say no to death. And then death we go. If we are worthy. In Matthew chapter 3. Matthew chapter 3. In Matthew chapter 3. Excuse me, do you know that some people, the only thing they know about God is that God will give them a miracle. Every day they come to church, pastor will say, God will give you a miracle. Every Sunday. He will give you on Tuesday, give you on Friday, give you on Sunday. The only thing God is, is thinking about is how he will give you a miracle every day. And then if you grow a, a church that is conscious of miracle every day, every day, the pastor will be dying. The church will be dying. Because it is only empty people that doesn't want to serve God. That want a miracle every day. Are you looking for what God will do for you? What about what you can do for God? What about what a man can do for God? What about being a channel of the miracle? Every day I gather here with some people and say, Lord, give the miracle. Give the miracle. The person that is praying is not looking for miracle too. In Matthew, I'm getting ready to go on and stop. Chapter from Pastor Solomon, I really appreciate. From verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Yes. And saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Number 3. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The he voice said, of one. He said, the word of the Lord, make his path straight. Number 4. And, and John said, had the raiment of Kameh. And a little girdle upon his loins, and his meat was locust and white honey. Yes, that was a man. That was a man. Some people, every small thing they lack, they say, God has forsaken me. What do you mean? Up to now, the, the Rome has gotten a purpose, a kingdom. When Trump was having was president, he, I don't know what happened. The, the Pope didn't really like Trump. And uh, it, it, we saw it that Pope didn't have respect for Trump. Huh? Pope couldn't recognize Trump. Huh? Excuse me, how can a union of that order recognize the ordinary politician? A union cannot recognize the politician. It's impossible. Huh? A politician is a liar. He's an empty man. Huh? Move from APC to PDP. To, P, to uh, PDP. And then form his own party. He's a liar of all time. He's not in politics to help anybody. He's a, he's, he's a greedy man. He wants to swindle Nigeria. And then how can a man that have given everything to God ready to die anytime? Respect such. It's impossible. Excuse me, like I'm talking to you here. I, 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 I see heaven, I know the dead. 
So how can how can I how can I have respect for ordinary mortal? You are not hearing what I'm preaching. I am not just saying it. This is the only life I want to have. My mother couldn't convince me when I was when I was when I was not yet thirty. I said she, she couldn't convince me when I was 27. She couldn't. I couldn't listen. It's not that I'm getting to see that I will listen. One day we were in the campus, 1988. I was living in Student Village, Compound 13. That's the first compound. The first block there. And one guy, the other guy called me from Florida and said, I called him, he went and drank with, with his girlfriend, drank and drank and drank, get tipsy, come to the room, start vomiting, had hangover, started sleeping. I had to even go and buy him, buy him Sprite and put one tablet on it so that hangover can leave him. When he woke up in the morning, I saw vomit in, in our bed. We were all like 21, 22. I looked at him and said, you should be ashamed of yourself. Your father is not a rich man. And uh, he came here to squander the little money he gave you to take care of you and his suffering. Look at what you vomited. And I left him. I said, listen, if you don't clean this, and by the time I come back, school authority will deal with you. Fool. And I walked away. By the time I came back, I cleaned everything. And then came back and said, Chris, you know where I'm sorry about that. Today he's born again. One of the days he called me from Florida and said, Chris, you know I'm born again now. <laughs> because I study physics, I know, listen to me, I'm about to stop preaching. I know that darkness will never have a new future. I know that darkness will not. Darkness will never have a new future. I don't need someone to tell me. If all that you're trying to do is to grow darkness, then you will not be anywhere. Then things that corrupt itself will keep on fading. I said things that do what? Corrupt itself will keep, will keep fading. We keep fading. I want to show you two mosquitoes, then I know I'm done. Somebody blessed. So am I, am I harsh? Am I, huh? Am I really harsh? Huh? What about if that life is your life? Why do you want to be like other people? Go after your life. Don't forget the Bible says in chapter 5 of the book of Matthew that we are salt. That is, we are ingredients of preservation. God will use us to preserve the lascivious. That God will use us. He's, God said to Abraham, I mean, he said, you want to preserve Sodom and Gomorrah? He said, yes. He said, if I get 10 people, if I get 50, Abraham, God said to Abraham, he said, if I get 50 for salt, I will preserve. And they started looking for 50 they didn't get. Abraham came back to God and said, what about, what about 40, my king? The king, he said, I accept. 40, I will not do harm. He came back, no 40. He said, what about my king if I get 30? The baguette continued until he came to 10. They couldn't still get 10. And uh, God was merciful. For one Abraham, he saved Lot. And then, and his wife. For one Abraham. In 22, 30, he said, if I get one. That means, if Abraham had asked God for one man, he will save Sodom and Gomorrah. So some things cannot happen in the presence of some people. Whatever I disallow on earth shall be disallowed in heaven. And whatever I allow on earth. You have to come to a place of authority where you can have power to allow and disallow. Excuse me. Set and make people fire when they lose the, the when they lose the potence to stand before God and resist Him. When they lose the authority, 
A, a believer is someone that have authority. You entered into a bus and they, they say it's one chance and you know that you can't be lost. They say, I'm robber is in the compound and you're singing. You know it. You know it that, you know it that if it is you in the midst of angel, somebody will pay. If you have lost last, that life, go back. You have to go back. That is not religion. That is power. There's a difference between religion and power. Oh God, don't you care that we perish, peace be still. The Bostodian swing, there was a great camp. Mark 4. Ah, we are not, we are in the days where we should not live under fear. I said, well, we should not live under fear. I told him, my son called me the other day, he said, Dad, I'm calling you because one of my daughters is kidnapped. And I was fasting. I said, if that girl remained in the den of kidnappers by sunrise, kidnappers will use their gun on themselves. I was so angry. I went out and I said, I said, sun and moon, day and night. Find out where they are and let their life be an abomination to you who made heaven and earth. Ah, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. There are people you don't touch. If you touch it, your life will end. If a man didn't touch himself, you can't touch him. I say, if a man refuse to touch himself, he can't be touched. I say, if a man refuse to touch himself, somebody drank the dream. He said, Shepard, I saw, and he's like, Arabas came. I said, foolish. He said, one night is not in my drawer. For five years, I've not kept nine in my house. For five years, I've not kept nine. Which nine? There is a connective point between the robber and the man. That is money. There's no money with me. <laughs> I said there is no money. You want to come and meet me? What do you want to steal? I would, I would just be saying, ah. <laughs> there, that's the only thing I have. I'll go by two, three, name about oh, that's, that's what is in my office. <laughs> by three in the morning, you want to steal it? And I'm not even wearing clothes, I'm only wearing trousers on the floor. You want to take my thing, my clothes? My clothes is t-shirt. Look, also, I'm Africa. This is your time. It's not expensive. That's what I came with. I gave you confidence. 14 of the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 14, some of them may look at you know we read it all the time, but it's not it, we've not even ever read it. 12, it's 14 12. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, when the land sent it against me, and but trespass grievously, then I will stretch out my arm upon it, and we break the staff of the bread thereof. The, and we can you see? The Bible said it is only when a land is sinned against me that I will stretch my hand upon it. And I will break staff of bread thereof, and we send famine upon it, and then we cut off man and beast from it. That, that, that's what I'm looking at. Go ahead. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, Daniel, and Job, were in it, 
they should deliver but their own souls yes. by their righteousness see the lord god he, he said uh, uh, they will be delivered by their righteousness noah daniel and joe number 15 if i cause noise and space beast to pass through the land and, and, and they the spoil it so that it be desolate that no man may pass through because of the beast though these three men were in it as i live see the lord god they shall deliver neither sons nor daughter they only shall be delivered but the land shall be desolate go ahead or if i bring a sword upon that land and, and say so, sword, sword go through the land so that i cut off man and beast from it yes number Though 18 these three men were in it as i live see the lord god they shall deliver neither sons nor daughter but they only shall be delivered themselves can, please can you look at that can you look at that that means that it's not everybody that can be touched. Huh? Wherever there is pain, there is connection. Delay, there is connection. This is not religion. No. I'm not preaching religion. No. Please, I'm not preaching religion. No. Open your ears. No. This is not religion. No. Get boldness. No. This is not religion. No. In Job chapter 1 verse number 6. Job 1 6. And now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. And the Go Lord ahead. said unto Satan, Where comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, yes. and from walking up and down in it. Yes. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? Yes. That there is none like him in the earth, a yes. perfect and upright man. One that feareth God and entreweth evil. Number nine. And then Satan answered unto the Lord and said, said Does Job fear God for naught? Has not thou made an made hedge an round about him? Um, about his house and about all that he had on every side. Thou hast blessed the work of his hand and his substance is increased in the land. God said to Satan, said to Job, He said, You have made Job untouchable. Not only that you made him untouchable, you also bless Job. Not only that you bless him, you, you increase his substance. That is a hedged man. If a door opened into a man's life, then the man opened it. Anybody that was sleeping and he was pressed, he opened the door, Satan used to press him. You are in Lagos and nothing is working. Then you made nothing to work. Excuse me. You made nothing to work. If you want something to work, then you make it work. The promise there is only to Job. He said, When you hate him, when you hate him, you bless the work of his hand, and then you increase him on every side. And then God came back to Job and said, Can you look at the, the next verse? He said, you will not touch Job. I'm about to close this message. Now, he said, and the Lord said unto Satan, Behold now that I have had in thy power upon him, not, not to put thy hand upon himself. Upon himself. Can I, can I round up to say to you, if you have a quality that will keep Satan away from you, Satan will, like, a, excuse me, do you know for about 40 years, Satan comes to me and we talk. He doesn't come to me to attack me. One day he came to me and said, Lucifer, he make kisses. He said, I'll just be going up and down. So I said, now what are you doing in my house? He was telling me, just, he wanted to come and warn me about some locals. I said, why are you warning me? He said, those people are insulting him. Now, now, insulting him, why must he come to take, he said, I, I want to warn you to tell them to stop insulting me before I touch them. That was 14 years ago. I, I said, you know you can't touch it. That's why you want to come and tell me. You can't touch them because they have age. Uh, excuse me. 
I didn't go and go at Georgia. <laughs> it's not everybody that can be touched. No. It's not the number of the enemies that gather that matters. It's your security. The day I preach on similitude, I said, if you don't get it, don't do another thing until you get it. Don't touch her business. Don't touch his children. You cannot keep carrying children to hospital. You can't. Your business cannot shop sober ship break. It's not possible. Your life cannot deplete. That is all the promises of God. Touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. Now, in chapter 7 of the book of Revelation, his, the Bible says, we will put number on them before we destroy the earth. What Satan does every day is to make sure that that particular grace on you that Satan fears that you should lose it. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4 of, of Revelation. Doctor went and, a doctor went and examined you and started making you afraid. I said, how can a doctor, how can you commit your life into the hand of God? Go back to your God. Close your doors. Huh? I said, go back to God. Do what? Close all the doors. And then go back to God. When you close back the door, when you close all the doors, negotiate back with God. And then Satan will go. Look at seven. One, two, three. Excuse and me. Yes. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding right. the four wings of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Number, I saw two, number two. Another angel ascending from, from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hold the earth and the sea. Number three. Saying, Hold not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. He said, you cannot. When you hear monks, we are talking about preservative agents. People that they have to move them out of Nigeria if Nigeria must sink. If they want to sink Nigeria or Lagos, they have to move us out. I said, they have to move us. If they don't move us, then evil will not reign. Then mayhem will not happen. Chapter 10, 2 of the book of Proverbs. He said, Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness. Delivers from death. From death. So the man that died did he, did he stand wrong, right, and still died? He, when they gathered to kill him, why didn't an angel, a wind blow, and an angel go to those who are planning evil and stop them? If there is right standing, hear me. God will never allow the earth to Satan. He will never. All the people that evil happened took side with Satan. Because Satan is not yet in charge of the earth. The earth and the fullness and 24 belong to God. So there is nothing that happens here that God doesn't know about. In Hebrews chapter 7, one, that is my last scripture. That is my last. About the Mekizadek. The, the eunuch who destroyed his generation. And for this making the king of Solomon, priest of the most high God who made Abraham returning from the slaughter of the king and bless and him. him. Yes. And then number two. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by the interpretation king of righteousness 
and after that also king of Salem which is king of peace there is one question there that I want to bring out that is my last part of this message he said to whom our father gave what ten all right number three without father without mother without descent having neither beginning of days nor end of life but made like unto the son of god abided a priest continually number four now consider how great this man was whom even the patriarch abraham gave the tent of the spoils thank you the writer of hebrew said you that is hearing me say consider how great how great this man that gave abraham communion in genesis consider how great this man is consider how great this monk is consider how great this eunuch is consider how great this man that vow a vow of poverty is the bible says he is like jesus there are certain vows that bring you into the room of god undoubtedly he said consider him that abraham was a great patriarch but abraham was less because you have to be less to give a man tight when abraham gave that union tight it is because abraham is less than that unmarried man can i ask you to rise Every door that closed, that opened in my life negatively, through which the enemy created an inroad, created a negative inroad into my life, I command that door to close immediately by the blood. Can I hear you pray on security? Every door that closed onto poverty, closed onto death, that opened onto poverty, onto shame. Every door. Every door, Lord, by your blood, I close back that door. I close back. Can I hear your prayer? I close back that door, Lord. I close back that door. I close back that door. That door that opened up to that prayer is a serious prayer. Open up to death. I close back that door. Let that door close, close back. back that door, Lord. I close back that door. Every door that opened up to poverty. Open unto sickness, open unto death. I close back that door, Lord. I close back that door. I close up by that gate that I close back that door, that door that open unto poverty. In the name of Jesus, Amen. just because of time, Father, I am a sword. I receive new preservative strength over my life and my environment. Can I hear your prayer? I am a sword. Lord, I am a son. I receive new I preservative. Receive new preservative strength. I receive new preservative strength over my life, over my environment, over my family. Lord, I am a son. I receive new preservative strength. I am a son. Lord, I receive new preservative strength. I receive Lord, I receive her. You preserve your strength. Listen. I Satan said to God, the first thing you gave Job was an age. You know, when we are preachers and we keep preaching, sometimes people get familiar with certain truth. But if you are in this hall, and the, some part of this land is in the right. It was not ours before. It's ours now. And some part of this land is in the right. Some are in the left. And then the main building of this church at the center. There was a movement of respect. By him who is almighty. 
if he doesn't have that capacity, I wouldn't have given him everything. He came before us knowing the condition. He brought this manipulation and then kept this land for us five years. The Lord stole the selling of this land. Not because the people were kind. No. Not because they liked us. Not because we, we had money. But because we have God. So he planned. He went ahead to plan. I said, Jehovah will go ahead to plan for you. Amen. I, I said, that king went ahead and went ahead to plan. Went ahead. You're going to say, Lord, the Bible said, after God has built that age, he prospered Abraham. And then he gave him increase on every side. It is not possible. The beginning of prosperity is an age. In the book of Judges, those men look at the small high priest and say, is it okay for you to be in our company? Or to be in the company of this man? Huh? Stay with us and we will pay you. Because we know that if you are with us, we will not suffer. They were begging the priest. Have you ever begged a man to come to your house? Because you know that if his feet touch into your house, that our house will not remain the same. It, 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 oh no, it's a revelation. Have you begged a man to put his hand on the food you're eating? And then you eat the remaining. So that when you eat the food, when you eat the food, the, the other poison in your stomach can go. Because of the power of the other one you ate. Excuse me, a woman told me that when she came to local Sami, she took communion from my hand and went home and vomited seven nights. And vomited seven nights. And she was vomiting things that looked like blood. I said, what happened? He said that when she was vomiting, she was afraid. And God told her, he said, when you ate communion from the hand of Christ, Christian who believe in immortality, all the other communion you have ever eaten from men that introduced sickness in your body needed to come out. She told me she vomited seven nights until those communion they came out. One day she came to our meeting. He said, "I said this is power of God. This is power of power of God. Power of God." He said, "And the envelopes we are flying, we are falling on people." He said, "And the brand envelope fell on her. She fell down." He said, "While she was sitting on the floor, she went and uh, don't play with falling down. There are people that receive blessing only through that way. Falling down is not equal to having demon. There are people that if anointing come, if they don't fall down, they won't get anything. Some prophetic groups." So she said when the anointing came, she fell. And she was, when she was fell, she saw envelope flying. And then the envelope fly kept, fell on her. She was still there, opened the envelope, and then she saw preservation. And then she said, that was the reason why she met me. Then she said, that man, this man, Chris Christian. One day she came to my office and knelt down and was crying. I said, why are you crying? He said, this is the first time in my whole life I am kneeling down before a man of God. I said, what about the your bishop? You were in that church for 12 years. He said, no, he didn't kneel down. So I said, why are you kneeling down before me? He said, I have not seen a man of God like you. I didn't beg her anything. As, I'm, as you're looking at me here, I don't have one need. Just to please God. But if he's to divert this money into another direction, it will never happen. All the days of my life. I told him when I was talking, I said, I will never go to where they sell food, the restaurant to buy food. I won't go to where they sell shoe. Huh? I, won't, I will not hang around people's house to go and eat. Somebody called me one day and said, Shepard, I want to take you out somewhere by the sea to go and eat cold fish. 
He said, roasted fish. I said, what do you mean roasted fish? He said, he said, I've taken a reverend father there before to eat. I want to take you there to go and eat. I said, you mean I'll go to by the sea to go and eat fish? He said, how much, how much will I eat? I'm not hungry. I've been wondering how I will enter car. It was even from Sulere. Just to go and eat. For what? To be popular? Get the hedge and you will not lack what you need. Father, every broken hedge around me repair. Repair. Let every hedge around me repair. Repair. Let Somebody repair. You cannot be touched. Look at someone and you can't be touched. You can't be touched. You can't be touched. You can't be touched. Every broken hedge around me. Repair. Every broken hedge. Repair, oh God. Repair, my father. Every broken hedge repair. Every broken hedge around me. Every repair. broken hedge around my family. Every broken hedge around my destiny. Every broken hedge around my life. Let it be repaired, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Concerning Job, after the hedge was broken, he is prospered. 39 of Genesis. Concerning Joseph, the house of Potiphar, prospered. Concerning Jesus, 6 of John, when Christ preserved him, everything he had, he was able to multiply fishes and bread. I'm going to pray one more prayer. Father, because I am preserved, anywhere I am found, people will prosper. Lives will be transformed. Anywhere. Can I hear your prayer? Anywhere I am found. You, you are, you're carrying it home. Because I am preserved. You will carry that legacy home. I am preserved. Anywhere I am because found. I am preserved. Because I am preserved. Anywhere I am found. Anywhere I am found. This will change. This will change. This will change. This will change. Anywhere I am found. This will change. Anywhere situations will change. Situations will change. Situations will change. This will be blessed. Anywhere I am found. Situations will change. Anywhere I am found. Fire. Situation with church. Anywhere I am found. Anywhere I am found. Anywhere Christian is found. Anywhere I am found. Anywhere Locust Army is found. This will church. Anywhere I am found. Oh God. This will church. Oh God. Oh God. Anywhere I am found. Anywhere I am found. Anywhere I am found. This will church. Oh God. I give you glory. Anywhere I am found. Anywhere I am found. This will church. Situation will burn. Anywhere I am found. Lord, anywhere I am found. Anywhere I am found. This will turn. Situations will be altered. Situations will be altered. Situations will be altered. We be altered. Anywhere I am found. Anywhere I am found. Lord, anywhere I am found. This will turn. Somebody go ahead. Anywhere I am found. Go ahead. This will change. Wherever I am found. This will change. Wherever I am found. This we church, wherever I am found, Jesus, Jesus, wherever I am found, hey, hey, wherever this Christian is found, let there be power of multiplication. In the name of Jesus, I do it. Can you lift your hand towards the altar, Father? I do it. I shall fear no evil from the influence of the sweet sword, the light. I bring the people to another level. Things you didn't want for come your way. Amen. Under the corporate influence of this altar, everyone shall be protected. Amen. Let the wounded be healed. Amen. 
Let there be new season. Amen. I can hear an amen. amen. Let the guardian angel of this corporate mandate give you special attention. Amen. Everyone that hear me have special attention. Amen. The sacrifice of Jesus at the cross speak. Everything he paid for, the guardian angel amen. that have capacity to multiply fishes and bread, follow you home. Amen. Let the testimonies multiply in your life. Amen. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. The guardian angel of ultimate breakthrough. Wherever he is, that have authority over the sun. That have the seal of the living God. The one that asked me to tell you that you cannot be touched. You cannot be touched. Amen. If you hear me, can you say amen to that word? Amen. I said the Lord will give you increase. Can you say amen to that word? Amen. Can you say amen to that word and hear yourself? Amen. I said because you are peculiar, you cannot be touched. Amen. There is a separation between the righteous and the unrighteous. Amen. The Bible says that when the Bible says that when they came out, a pillar of cloud followed them in the day, and the pillar of fire followed them in the night, because they were unique people. Now, everywhere you go, God's presence shall follow you. Amen. Testimonies will multiply in your life. Amen. Somebody tremendous open door shall be your everyday Amen. testimony. I can hear your amen. Amen. Can you say with me, oh God? Oh God. Can you, I want to pray that prayer and that is your life before I start the communion. Surround me with your fire in the night. Surround me with your fire in the night. And with your cloud in the day. And with your cloud in the day. Can you pray that prayer oh that way? God, surround, surround me with your fire in the night. And your cloud in the day. Surround me with your fire in the night. And your cloud in the day. Oh God, surround me with your fire in the night. And your cloud in the day. Surround me with your fire. In the night. And your cloud in the day. Oh God, surround me with your fire. Your fire in the night. And your cloud in the day. Surround me with your fire in the night. And your cloud in the day. Oh God, surround me with your fire in the night. Surround me with your fire at night. Your fire at night. And your cloud in the day. Surround me with your fire at night. And your cloud in the day. Jita Brikol. Can we can we respect the Lord standing up? Say with me, Lord Jesus. I, I declare myself untouchable. Say with me, every door that open against me by the blood of Jesus. I command that door to close. I, I strengthen the covenant of my preservation. Not only that I will be preserved, your increase shall be my passion. Your Jehovah, your increase shall be my portion. Your multiplication shall be my daily testimony. Thank you because I am a salt. There is no iniquity in me because my sins are pardoned. I can't hear you say there is no iniquity in me because my sins are pardoned. I am totally redeemed. Say with me, therefore, Jesus, as I eat your broken body in bread, rebuild my security. Prosper me amazingly. Father, the security shall be rebuilt, and the people shall be given increase continuously. And then they will live forever. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. The name of God, the Holy Spirit. I can hear a resounding amen. Father, there will be no death in Zion. There will be no frustration. The weapons of the enemy against you is broken. Can you say a big amen? amen? Wherever they gather against you, they shall scatter. Amen. Somebody say, let my enemies be scattered. Amen. Every power that wants to delay your life, that power is confused now. Amen. Can somebody shout a big amen? amen? 
stretch your hand stretch your hand towards the blood and say let the blood speak for me speak for me speak for me speak for me don't forget I'm not the one that died this is not my blood let the blood of the king speak for me 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 let the blood 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 speak for me can i hear you this week can you believe in that prayer father the blood shall speak for everyone in the name of god the father son from the spirit
the stealers, the thieves, the extortioners, the extortioners, skladarabos, santolorododobos, mandroskelededebos, nambrande, can you speak, can you speak, can you say, Lord, this is the end of lack, this is the end of poverty, this is the end of evil in my life, in my story. Father, as your people give, Take them to another level. Jesus, my name. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Hello, Webby. 
your name. Hello, where be your name? Hey. Hello, where be your name? Hello, where be your name? Hello, where be your name? Jehovah. Hello, where be your name? Be Lord of fire by the night. Hey. Be Lord of blood by the day. You are the lifter of my head, Lord. Hey. Hello, where be your name? Thank you enough. Caesar. Let's jam our hands together for our shepherd as we take our seat. Amen. Amen. It's announcement time. The mandate. The low-cost army is a oh, sorry. If today is your first time of uh, fellowshipping with us in a Sunday service like this, can you signify by raising up your hand you are worshiping with us today for the very first time hallelujah can you do me a favor by standing up on your feet stand up on your feet you are welcome in the name of the lord we have a place for you you are welcome the in the name of the lord the we can see all over you, you. The glory of the Lord, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. Yes, we love you. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, we love you. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. We can see, we can see all over you that glory. Love of the Lord. Yes, we love you. Yes, 
together for Jesus and for them. Amen. On behalf of the shepherd of mankind, I welcome all of you to the Locust Army International, the house of immortality. The God of this great commission will continue to preserve and bless you all in the name of Jesus. Can you listen to the following announcement? Demanded. The Locust Army is a corporate company of Messiahs born to raise an altar for the capital Messiah in the heart of Africa. She's an end time Messianic church born to declare rapture and the millennial kingdom of God. Put your hands together for Jesus. She's bent on making sure that the Lion of Judah is declared on earth as the last Adam. Can you clap? The covenant. The covenant of internal lives, away, protection, preservation, and the motorization of mortars is at work in the low cost army international. Jesus has tested death for all low cost soldiers, so death must not be allowed to exercise dominion over us. Jacket of immortality are continuously being distributed in the midst of the army. Today, in this service, the jacket of immortality was distributed to everyone as the message was going on. So just collect for yourself and collect for your family members and God will bless you. The ultimate call. The Lord of Harvest is calling on this army to a life of practical evangelism and soul winning. Every soldier of this army must understand that this exercise is very paramount and must be taken serious. It is time to fish for the master because the lion of Judah must reign on earth a second time. Can you say to your neighbor, it is time to fish for the king? Let's take our palace confession. Can you say to your neighbor, neighbor, God of life and immortality is in you. He is with you and always in your environment. Now, can you say that to yourself? God of life and immortality is in me. He's with me and always in my environment. You must always allow this consciousness to be in you and God will continue to preserve you in Jesus' name. Pledges and vow redemption. All pledges and vow made in Galilee 2021 at Galilee Camp. All the, fine, all the pledges made towards the building project going on in New Jerusalem, Golden City here and other financial pages are to be redeemed. We are therefore using this opportunity to call on those who made financial pages and vowed to please redeem them as quickly as possible. The account details is always at the notice board there, Echo Bank. Hallelujah. Amen. Like some of us who made pages and vowed regarding the children's section going on, the bookshop and other transformation going on in the church, please, we beg of you as quickly as possible to redeem. Even if you can't redeem in full, you can redeem in part. Hallelujah. And if you have not made a pledge, you know, regarding to that effect, we want to use this opportunity to encourage you to support what is going on. Because anytime a pro building project is going on like this, just know that God is out to elevate his people. May you never be left behind in the name of Jesus. The radio program the radio program tag in his presence by our shepherd still runs every Sunday morning. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? The radio channel is Inspiration FM channel 92.3 that comes every 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. every Sunday. These are these are our radio stations and DSTV channel in other regions of the world. Like in Onisha, we have Wazobia FM 93.7 every Saturday by 8.30 a.m. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? Then in Enugu, we have Urban FM channel 94.5 every Saturday by 9 p.m. Put your hands together for Jesus. In Kano, we have Rare Power FM channel 106.5 every Saturday by 9 a.m. Put your hands together for Jesus. In Abba, 
we have Real FM Channel 99.1 every Saturday by 7.30, every Sunday by 7.30 a.m. Hallelujah. We also have in Kano AIT that comes up every 10 a.m. That is it, AIT TV in Kano, who's staying in the Kano area. Amen. In Port Harcourt, we have Wave FM channel 91.7 every Saturday by 9.30 a.m. into 10 a.m. In Abuja, we have DSTV Wazubia Max channel 200 and 259 every Saturday by 12 noon into 12.30. In Bauchi Station, we have Abaka FM channel 97.5 every Saturday by 5.30 p.m. The media stand. All media ministry books by our shepherd and our Zoe ministerial apparatus are all available at the media bookshop. You will find also the following item at the media stand. Books, CDs and DVD, calendar, t-shirt, stickers, Zoe oil and Zoe mantle. Today's message will be available immediately after the service in audio CD format. So as you are going out, you just get a copy for yourself. Service unit. The following department are in need of volunteers who will like to serve as workers in the church here. Evangelism and follow-up team, choir department, sanctuary cleaners department, ushering department, security department, transport department, Facility Maintenance Department, Decoration and Beautification Department, Band and Praise Team. Interested persons should meet me after the service to indicate their interest and God will bless you. Also, the children's section are also in need of teachers who will be part of building the faith of our children. So if you are interested in any of these departments, after the service, you meet me to signify your interest. Hallelujah church website the church official website is up and running the site contact address is www.locustarmy.org we should encourage our friends and relations all over the world to visit the website we are also using this opportunity to encourage us to advertise our church programs on social media links like facebook twitter instagram and so on Hallelujah. As you continue to do that, the God of life and immortality will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Group announcement. Jerusalem women should please wait immediately after the service signed by their leader. Amen. The are going to your work. With this, can I ask all of us to stand up on our feet as we declare 2021 prophetic declaration. We we'll repeat after me. 2021 declaration 2021 is a blood year for me it is a year of great harvest marvelous exploit and explosive miracles in 2021 god will launch me into limitless dominion and governance 2021 is a special year for me the shadow of the Almighty is my secret place and I will enjoy special angelic services. In 2021, the strength of Israel will beat down all my adversaries and I will dwell in perfect peace. Whatever I lay my hands to do shall blossom and prosper. The year for my lifting is born and I cannot be stopped. I will be healthy and rich from August to December in 2021. I will enjoy the continual support of God of immortality. Not only that I shall not die, nothing good around me shall die. 2021 is a glorious year for me. It is a year like no other. 
It shall be a year like no other year for all of us in the name of Jesus. If there is any other announcement, our shepherd will make us know that when he comes up. Put your hands together for Jesus as you take your seat. Hallelujah. You know, the greatest blessing on earth is to understand the move of God. Something is called move. That is where God is per time. We call it move. The Bible says the children of Isaac, they had the understanding of time to know what Israel ought to do. The challenge that is before the Pentecostal church is preaching Bible and be separating themselves from what they are saying. You cannot preach God's word and remove your life from it. So, this time is calling for consecration. Power. Consecration is about power. It's about being powerful. There is no sanctuary of power where people reign that they were not taught to keep themselves. Two things you cannot separate from power. Consecration, sacrifice. So, the Passover service is going to be on Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. That's the last day of August. Amen. And that the theme of the program that night is the luminary bodies of the last age. Put your hand together for Jesus. We're going to come with the following candle, your white, Passover seed, and the shofar. The time is 11, 11 p.m. Tuesday night. Passover. It's a privilege. Then the next week, Monday, our seven days program will start the last for this year. Lands belong to God. Great meeting is that meeting. Praise God. There is something I, want, I will teach you about lands and dominion. And before that they come, I would like you to desire to have a land in Lagos, even if it's one plot. Because you cannot build an altar in somebody's props. So it's going to be seven days program from Monday night into Sunday, you know that. Those who may pledge is redeemed. Synod will come first week of October. Book of the month is still taking your life so many stages. I will have a prayer meeting tomorrow, just prayer meeting with staffs. Praise God. Just prayer meeting. Prayer meeting. The books for relevance is understanding the strength of practical holiness. The law of life and death. The power of consecration. The sacred oath of eunuch. And the eagle face of God. Somebody jam your hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody, did you clap? Did you clap? The band and the choir, well, the moment that the meeting ends, we're going to start another short time of praise, and um, there will be no break. Can I ask you to rise? I would like everyone and the evangelical team to take so winning and follow up serious in this place. Particularly those that have ear to hear. Those that have ear to hear. 
She will hear that it was said from the altar. This is a time for evangelism and soul winning. Somebody need to be encouraged. You need to copy from me. I've been encouraging you. Last, on Tuesday, I was here until after seven. I spent seven hours in this hall. This coming Tuesday, we will not have Tuesday meeting because that Tuesday night is a time of Passover, so there will be no Tuesday meeting. Praise God. This next tomorrow. So the next meeting we are going to have here is Tuesday night. Understanding is being successful. Having understanding. There is nothing that can change. Don't trifle with beautiful, robust contact. God said to Abraham, why are you worried about Sodom and Gomorrah? He said, Lord, he said, since Lord is your problem, I will move him out just for your sake. I told you on Friday, join your hand with people that can add value to you. I said when I was about to end that meeting that as big as Jesus is, he took Peter and James and John to so many places just to receive encouragement from them. They were all that two if he took three because they were unique. And then in Gethsemane, he said, why didn't you pray for me? I, I brought you here to pray for me. So getting important people, I had the testimony of that woman. I talk about angels. Can you come? Somebody keep on talking about angels during testimony. Where are you? Come. You, you said angels keep coming to you. How is it? Huh? Can I get a microphone? They keep coming. Yes. The angels since last year. Since last year. Since last year. Yes. Yes. The angels begin to come to me. For, if they won't come, they will come for, for my former church. Yes. They will come for intercessor camp. When I go intercessor camp, then they come for Ijesha. They will come there in Ijesha. Yes, for Ijesha. <laughs> come and tell me to leave that place. So, but uh, they're confused because I say maybe I'm not qualified because then they come for intercessor camp. So I will, I come to think maybe I'm not qualified to be intercessor. In the camp. Yes. So uh, this year they come they wear because the uh, army this uh, soldier uh, uniform. Uniform. They come. Uh, our daddy, the, the, I know, I know that, that one they use them as an angel. That they wear our daddy, where they do usher. If any time I see our daddy, I say, I remember that angel. So, say, they say, make I remain for here. Then here they will open my door. And th uh, this is where they will hear me. This is where they will open your door? Yes, and, and this is where they will hear me. So, me, I say, uh, this is where you hear me. What of uh, heaven, righteousness? The angel said, "This is your church. If they go have fire, follow them. If they go have follow them. And this is where we open your door. I will hear you. I will wipe away your tears. If I join this church, you. If I join this church. Before you join this church, yes. And I make and make you join. Yes, sir. <laughs> Somebody put your hand together for oh, Jesus. <laughs> Kneel down. Kneel down. You, you said you want to go to heaven. Look at me. I thought you have met me. This is me. <laughs> when I was preaching, I didn't hear it. Did you travel? You didn't hear what I was saying. Your pastor, is he like that? <laughs> don't, 
other people that gave this money, can you come? You're talking about a married man who said, uh, who is doing business with church people. Imagine. If Catholic, if Catholic people marry that these ones are married, the church will not spread. All this business, business. Uh, excuse me, a, a, a proper Jewish man who met the Lord cannot follow something. Huh? Somebody saw another person die at the cross. You want to trade with them. Somebody used his life and crucified it. And then you want to do business with that name. He will do everything he said. Jesus' name. Prosper you. Prosper you. Police, do you testify? Okay, moderated. We got to do for you, sir. Bless you. Pastor Israel, come. Take oil. The oil that is coming to use for two reasons. Build a new age. Fortify the age. And then prosper you. Declare you untouchable. If the devil meets you on the way, on the way as you go home, so the Lord will conk him at the center of his head. I said the Lord will hit him where? Father, with this oil, I declare your people untouchable. Can you go ahead and begin to say, Lord, I am untouchable. Not only I can be touched, I will prosper. Not only I can be touched. Not only that I can be touched, I will prosper. Santola Rakaya Baba Santa. Not only that I can be touched, I will prosper. Not only I can be touched, I will prosper. Not only that I can be touched, I will prosper. Setolia Rada Calabas. I will prosper. Call your name and say Chris Christian will prosper. Mans Tolo Rodobus. Nando Satala Radabas. Zentelia Rada Shotolo Rodobos. Lady Arakana Radababas. Lady Gratalama. Just a finger. Declare you untouchable. Suze Lebreno Zizigarada. Zantolo Dobrana. Non non tontos. Ambrantos Sopro. Lanstala Dibros. Lembrando Santala Dabara. Levi Zompo. Sakaliana Taraba. I declare you untouchable. If there be sickness in your body, I command that sickness to vanish from you. Vanish from you. Whatever is forsaken on this altar will not be your portion. It will not be your portion. It will not be your portion. Somebody shout Amen and hear yourself. Sickness will not be your portion. Diseases shall not be your portion. Poverty shall not be your portion. Nothing will die around you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your hand to do shall prosper. Doors upon 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 doors 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 shall open unto you in the name of Jesus. Father, I release the pillar of cloud in the night. The pillar of fire in the, in the night. Pillar of cloud in the day. I can hear an amen. Wherever you are stopped now, I push you forward. I push you forward. I push you forward. I push you forward. Somebody, I push you forward. I push you forward. Somebody say, I move forward, I move forward. I move forward, I move forward. I move forward. Can you say, I move, I move. Now, I push you now. I push you now, I push you now. I bring a covering into your life. Somebody, you will be helped. In the name of Jesus, wait, don't blow it away. You shall be helped. You shall be helped. 
you shall be helped. If I say you shall be helped, say a big amen. That sister said, Angel came to where she doing intercessory prayer and said they asked her to go to look at um, do you know why they did they were they didn't teach her about heaven and hell? Maybe because they know that she won't understand. You know, but she's favored. Favored. When I came on Friday night, I saw her praying, praying very strongly at the outside there. I said, Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I intend getting that church roofed before Sunday. The, the, the children's hall and the bookshop. It has to be roofed. And then put doors and windows. Because you saw it. It's there. It wasn't like that on Sunday. Praise God. Keep walking. Pastor Israel is not an engineer. You just, just keep walking there. <laughs> Amen. I, I would like you to give a seed. I want you to give a seed to that building. I won't tell you what you will give, but I want the building to be done. One person can finish it if God has blessed you. So if you want to give a seed to that building, can you come? Let me get like 10 people. Oh, you have you made a vow before and um, you want to redeem it. Can you come? Those that want to give a seed to that building. Children's Hall Bookshop. Can I get like 10 people? Is there? Is there? We need to finish it. No, why not? We need to finish it. We need to finish it. We want to start putting rod tomorrow. Do casting. And then put zinc. And then it's done. One person. Mama, come. Why not? If you're out, can you lift your hand and ask God something? Ask him to do something for you. Why not? Can we support them? Mata Askotolo Rebre Anste Kalabus. Zibredo Kapatoski. Zendulubren Motospla Antoskedihishki. Santo Branasa Zuri Ingranoska is with me now to see Soplon not asilish Slihi Shorono Satal Hekla to Mendi Breduska Vonu Petusi Lanto Sapido Lacran on Dora Kala carry you to another level. Soto sumebrin on dolaga. I put it into your account. Money. In the name of Jesus. Zilo Rokaprana. I speak to help us. I speak to help us to help you. To help you. I say to heavenly help us who walk on earth. Let them help you. Let them help the locust army. Let them prosper you. If you heard me, can you say amen? amen? Let them move you forward. Can you say amen to that? Can you say a big amen? amen. Say, I agree to move forward. Even from now. Can you go ahead and say that prayer? I agree. I agree. I agree to move forward. Say Chris, Christian, agree, 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 agree to move forward. Excuse me. Those that love the Lord should hear me. Excuse me. Heaven and us have decided to change this compound. By the time you come here, Caterpillar would have leveled everywhere, all these places. This building, the moment that that place is ready, this one here and the bookshop, we go. And uh, the transformation will be daily. Uh, that is the only work I want to work. Huh? 
the transformation will be. No, I don't, I don't want to walk another walk. If somebody put any seed in my, in my account, I will bring it out. And everybody will see it. That is the only work I want to work to change here into heaven. Those who are partners to that assignment, if I be a man of God, will not lack money. Can you lift your hand? Let me pray this last prayer. If you are here and you have desire, that desire shall be met this week. Ah, uh, that mama said the angels came to her. I said those angels and other angels they will come to you. They will come to you in the name of Jesus. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Can you say amen and hear yourself? Can you say Chris, Christian? I, I believe in you and your God. If your God is real, let that God and his angels prosper my life. Lift your hand and say it that way. Say Chris, Christian, if your God is real, if you are serving a real God, if true, true, you are serving a real God. Let that God you are serving and his angels move my life forward. Can you pray that prayer that way? Let that God and your angel, that God that made you a eunuch, let that God that made you a eunuch move my life forward. Can I hear you pray that prayer? Miracle is on your way. Miracle is on your way. Miracle is on your way. Can you say it and hear yourself? That if that God is a real God, let that God move my life forward. Kalatoria rakatalaya la baba. Somebody go ahead. I receive miracle from that God. I receive miracle from that God. I receive miracle from that God. The God of life and immortality. Say, so, oh, you God of life and immortality. Wherever you are in the heavens, you will give me miracles. I can hear your prayer. I can hear your prayer. Somebody, did you know that that problem is ending? That is why I'm standing here. Excuse me. No amount of writing that will keep me from coming to this church, this altar in the midnight. I want you to have a new confidence on this altar. Again, from today. Build a new confidence. The God of life and immortality, he will protect you. Don't fear. If you go out tomorrow, be bold. Be bold this week. Be bold this night. Be bold as you're going home. We will come here in the night to tell him about you. We will tell him to meet you in your house in the night. Can you say a big amen? I said he will meet you in the house. He will meet you in your shop. He will meet you in your office tomorrow. And everybody will know that your God is alive. Somebody say fire. Father, can you still lift your hand one more time? Billionaires are born. Everyone. Everyone. Every woman. I say to you, the money will serve your purpose. Yeah. We serve your purpose. Yeah. Things you didn't work for shall be yours. Yeah. The Lord will give you financial favor. 
I can hear an amen. Miracle every night. Miracle every day. Miracle every night. You can sit back. Miracle every day. Prosperity every night. Prosperity every day. Prosperity in the morning. Prosperity in the night. Prosperity in the morning. Prosperity in the day. Wherever you go, the Lord shall favor you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your hand to do shall prosper. Somebody, you need to sow a seed to this. Still come out and lay your hand on the oil. Say, Kalatarayabada. Whatever you lay your hand shall prosper. Can't tell who else is laying his hand on this oil. Believe in the miracles. Believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. Believe in the miracles. Just give him something. Give him something and see his kingdom progress. And then he will, he will progress you. He will progress you. It, 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 it will be amazing. It will be amazing that he will progress. It will be amazing. It will be awesome. Ah, it will be amazing. It will be a wonder to you. Ah, it will be a wonder. A wonder. It will be a wonder. It will be a wonder that God has done it for you. If you build God's house, he will build you a house. In the mighty name of Jesus. That is, tell somebody goodness and mercy shall follow you. Keep coming, keep coming if you are still coming. Santoli Rakatala Nabara. Zediri Shantola. I cause poverty. I cause slowdown. I open doors. Doors upon doors. Upon doors. Upon doors. Thank you, Father. Father, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in your house and God's house now and forevermore. Can, can you stretch your hand on this tool? Tool of favor, of dominion. Can you stretch? Listen, I don't know how to explain it to you, but there is a new determination in my heart. I don't want to feel weak about it. I don't want to feel comfortable about it. But coming to this altar in the night, I have dissolved it. I don't know when it will end, but I don't think it will end. Coming here to mention people's name. We are not many that do it. And I have told you, if you have sickness, you want intervention, come here, we will not chase you. I will pour oil on you in the night until you're okay. I will pour, I will pour oil on you every night pray with you. I'll come here every night. I don't know when it will end. Any day you feel like praying here, come, we'll be here. We have to pray. You have a challenge. You want to spend the night, two nights. You come here with us. Any night you want, we'll be here. I say, we'll, we'll be here. You know, because about, you know, we come through, we'll just be here for you. We'll stay with you until the challenge is over. Praise God. Father, this too is of Dominion is strengthened. Yeah. Jesus, my name. Yeah. So, blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord Almighty, creator of the heaven and earth, who through the blood of his son, demons from our sin, from our nation's temple and tribe of the earth, made us kings and priests that we might reign on it to him be glory and honor, praise, thanksgiving, world without end. Yeah. Amen. Tell somebody your miracle just started. Did you say, yeah, 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 yeah? Thank you. Your love has taken over me, Baba. I depend on you. I oh, yes, you are. 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 I depend on you. Yes, you are. Ah, you, oh Lord, I put my hand. Your 